would you say that the biggest differences in hardship are between living in rural America compared to living elsewhere? I, I think that one is healthcare access that hospitals and also dental care. We tend to think of, you know, medical care, but dental care, I think, is one of those things that we, you know, the, the, the 30 odd million Americans who don't have medical coverage, there are 78 million who don't have dental coverage. And um, so the lack of, of health care options. But I think beyond that is employment. Um, there have been periodically crises of unemployment in urban areas. Those problems in urban areas have been episodic. And in general, urban areas in America have added jobs. And in general, uh, jobs in rural areas have declined because of mechanization, increasing productivity. And so historically, we've needed to move people from rural areas to urban areas where the jobs are. And uh, mobility has, in fact, declined over the last generation. And I think also one of our general policy failures is that we're not, we're not good at geographic interventions. I think that today, in contrast to maybe 25 years ago, we really know what works to address these problems. But we're not going to eliminate poverty in America or child poverty in America, but can we reduce it substantially? I think absolutely. And the fact that other countries have been able to do that suggests to me that we have a toolbox that works. We certainly have the resources as a country. What we lack is, is the political will. Above all, I would focus on children and, and young children. And partly, I think that one of the reasons our anti-poverty efforts haven't been more effective is that we, too often we start too late. And when I try to think what would have made a difference for the nap kids, boy, I think, you know, um, early childhood and, you know, and even to some degree beginning uh, during pregnancy.